All right, so this video we're going to look at present value of an ordinary annuity. All right, so it says the present value P of an ordinary annuity is given by this formula. P equals R times 1 minus 1 plus I to the negative N divided by I. Okay, so R, the big R here, is the payment at the end of each period. Okay, little r, that's your interest rate. M is the number of compounding periods, okay? So, in other words, if M is annually, if it, or if it's compounded annually, M would be 1. Semi-annually, M would be 2. Quarterly, M would be 4. Monthly, M would be 12. And daily, M would be 365. And then T represents the number of years. And so, here we have, notice in the formula, we have I and N. Well, I is R over M, and N is M times T. All right, so uh, what's the present value of an ordinary annuity? Well, it's the amount that you have to, have to deposit today at the same compounded interest rate as, as, an, as the annuity to provide all the payments for the term of the annuity, annuity, okay? So if, if you're making payments for so many years at a certain interest rate, uh, compounded, whatever, okay? And you're making all these payments. And in so many years, you're gonna have this much money when you're making all these payments. Well, what this does is, okay, so after you make all those payments at the interest rate, compounded, however, you're going to have a set amount. Well, the present value, what it does is what do I have to have to deposit right now, today, in one lump sum to have that same amount in the future? Okay. All right. So let's look at some examples. And with, with this, uh, I've got one, two, three. Uh, four examples. I'm not going to do all four of them in one video. We it would just it would take too long. So what I'm going to do probably here is do the first two examples, and then I'll do this one. This one's a little bit different. Uh, you actually have to solve for the payments in this one, and then this one's a word problem. So th this one and this one I'll have in the second video. But let's just go ahead and do this one and walk through the formula, okay? Learn how to use the, the formula. So first thing, it says find the present value of each ordinary annuity, payments of $890 each year for 16 years at 6% compounded annually. All right, so first thing, let's just write our formula down. So P is equal to R times 1 minus 1 plus i to the negative n over i. Okay, so there's our formula. All right, so now what we need is we need r, the payments. So r, that's $890. Okay, and then we need the interest rate, the little r, and we need M so we can get I and N. So the interest rate is 6%, so R is 0 0.06, we write it as a decimal. M is equal to the number of compounding periods. Well, it's compounded annually, so M is one. All right, so now we can get I, that's R over M, which is 0 0.06 over one, which is 0 0.06, N, is M times T. So M is one, so that's one times, and T, that's the number of years, so that's 16. And so one times 16 is 16. All right, so now, well, all we do now is just plug everything in. So I get P is equal to R, which is 890, times one minus one plus I, which is 0 0.06, raised to the negative n, so raised to the negative 16, over 
I, which is 0 0.06. All right, so now comes the fun part, plugging this into our calculator. So th this one's pretty easy to punch in. Uh, just let's start and do this part here inside the parentheses. So if we punch this in, we're going to do 1 minus, okay, then parentheses, open a parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.06, close your parentheses, and then hit your exponent button, so raised, and then to the negative, so hit your negative sign, not the minus sign, but the negative sign, negative 16, and hit equals, okay, and that should give you 0 0.60. Six three five three seven one six, and then hit divided by with and with that number still in there. Just hit divided by point zero six and hit equals, and that should give you ten point one zero five eight nine five two seven, and then times eight ninety, and that is going to give you. Eight thousand nine hundred ninety four dollars and twenty five cents, and there's your there's your answer. Okay, all right, so let's look at the next example. All right, so we've got payments of fifteen thousand eight hundred and six dollars quarterly for three years at six point eight percent compounded quarterly. All right, so once again, let's write the formula down. So we have P is equal to R times 1 minus 1 plus I to the negative N over I. Okay. And, and what I would recommend doing, if your teacher doesn't let you use a formula sheet, every time you use one of the formulas, write the formula down every time, and that will help you start to remember it. Okay, all right, so let's get R, I, and N. So R is equal to 15,806, and then we need the interest rate, little r, that's 6.8%, so 0 0.068. M, well, it's quarterly, so M is 4. And so now we can get I is 0 0.068 over 4 which is the R, well, let me rewrite that. Let's write R over M, which is 0 .068 over 4. And let's see what kind of decimal that's going to give us. Divided by 4. Okay, so that's 0 .017. And then N is M times T. So it's going to be for three years. Well, M is, in this case, is 4. And that's for three years, and so M N is 12. So now let's plug everything in. So I get P is equal to R, which is $15,806, times 1 minus 1 plus 0 .017 raised to the negative 12. All right, so... That's all divided by I, which is 0 0.017. All right, so now let's punch this into our calculator. So I get P is equal to, so once again, let's just put the numerator in. So that's going to be 1 minus, open parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.017, close parentheses, raised to the negative 12 and hit equals and then divided by 0 0.017 equals and then times one uh, 15,806 and so that gives us 170275.47 so that's a hundred and seventy thousand dollars hundred and seventy thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars and forty seven cents 
that would be your answer all right so you know make sure you check out part two because it's going to have this problem and this problem they're a little more difficult than these two but just check them out uh, hope the video helped give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching